Nuance, I want bold colors, red, white, and blue. America, I have seen, Dagan, in the last several decades, absolutely fray and decline. When I saw those guys on the boats, on their knees, I mean, that says a picture about America that I haven't seen ever before. He's woken up a group of people, Neil, that have gone ignored. And Donald Trump, to me, is the last hope for America. This country has such potential. I love the country. You have to have heart. You have to take care of women's health issues. You have to take care of poor people that don't have, that they're never going to have a shot. And you have to take care of African-American youth who have never been in a worse position than they are right now. We are standing up for America and for the American people. There's a group of people in America that feel like they've been ignored. I know that for a fact. They feel like this country has let them down and the left has hijacked, and some of the right has hijacked our nation. So this is what Donald Trump answers to. It's not anger, it's love of country. And they've all, all of the media is getting it wrong. You can't let the critics and the naysayers get in the way of your dreams. Adversity makes you stronger. Don't give in, don't back down, and never stop doing what you know is right. Nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. And the more righteous you fight, the more opposition that you will face. The people built. Getting a good picture of everybody so we look nice and handsome and thin. And Beautiful. They were warm. in our country. America was founded on liberty and independence and not government coercion, domination and control. We are born free and we will stay free. America will never be a socialist country, but we must reject the politics of revenge, resistance and retribution and embrace the boundless potential. We must choose between greatness or gridlock. 
results or resistance, vision or vengeance, incredible progress or pointless destruction. Tonight, I ask you to choose greatness. I am asking all citizens to embrace this renewal of the American spirit. Seize this moment. Believe in yourselves. Believe in your future. And believe once more in America. I will fight for you with every breath in my body. And I will never, ever let you down. The forgotten man and the forgotten woman. You're not forgotten anymore.